Well, police departments across the county are hoping to connect with their communities during National Night Out tonight. ABC 10 News reporter Nate Holmes gives us a look at what different agencies are doing across San Diego. Whether it's hosting an event or making their way out into the community, hundreds of local officers will be participating in National Night Out as a way to build relationships with their neighbors. From police trucks to emergency vehicles, these are just some of the things you'll be seeing if you make your way to Parkway Plaza Tuesday night. It's been a couple okay. years since we've been able to do this, so we're so excited to have everybody back out here. The El Cajon Police Department yeah, is hosting their national night out event at the shopping mall. There will be face painting, balloon artists, and more for the kids, and information booths with a number of resources for the adults. Being able to call them and just have a great relationship with them is amazing for us as a mall, but also being able to provide this space um, for our community to engage with our police department and have those really positive police interactions. San Diego police will be at a number of different locations this evening. You can catch officers at Gompers Park for a free community event, an ice cream social at Kensington Library, and even a movie in the park and much, much more. But over in La Mesa, the police department is doing something a little different. So instead of hosting an event here at the police department, we go out into our community. Uh, we encourage our neighborhoods to have you know, potlucks or block parties, and we, we go to them. National Night Out is an opportunity for the community to really engage with local officers in a non-emergency situation. The Chula Vista Police Department, we have a whole division called the Community Engagement Division that we focus on getting in touch with people. So we want them to get to know their officers out there. And events like this just kind of set that bridge up for them to do that. That was Sergeant Molina with the Chula Vista Police Department. Their National Night Out event begins at 4 p.m. More departments plan to participate in National Night Out. They encourage you to follow their social media pages or reach out to them directly to figure out their information for their events. In Chula Vista, Nate Holmes with photojournalist Christopher Escobar, ABC 10 News. Voters in five states, including Arizona, Michigan, and Kansas, heading to the polls today in some high-stakes primary elections. So in Kansas, voters will decide if the state legislature there should have the power to further restrict abortion in that state. Today's primaries are the country's first test to gauge voter reaction to the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. Kansas voters are being asked to vote on a proposed amendment to the state constitution that would clear the way for the legislature to ban abortion. San Diegans already dealing with some of the highest rent in the country, and now it could jump even higher. The economic problem behind the expected price hike. And humidity is going to be going up by the end of the week. I'm going to dive into your Super 7 Day forecast to be pinpointing the chance for thunderstorms that will accompany this monsoon surge and some events going on across the county. That's going to look at your traffic with CHP officer Mark Latulip. How's it looking out there, Mark? Still looking great out there, Megan. Everything is uh, full freeway speeds at the moment. No, no sign of slowing anywhere in the county right now. It's a knock on wood. We're doing great. Taking a look, quick live look at Mira Mesa and the intersection.